On the 10th of February 2023, the rapper aka was fatally shot in the head by a hitman in the province of KZ in South Africa. After landing in the place, the hitman followed aka from the airport to his hotel before further tailing behind him on a different day, where he pulled over to grab something to eat with his friends at a nearby restaurant. And at 10 pm, while he was standing outside the restaurant in Florida Road, a mysterious gunman in a white sweater secretly approached aka from the side of the cars, pointed a gun to his head, and pulled the trigger. But he wasn't alone, because immediately after the first shot was fired, a second gunman started firing randomly to distract anyone from responding to the first gunshot. And unfortunately, one of AKA's friends, Thibs Mutuane, would accidentally catch a stray bullet to the chest, killing him within minutes. The murder was investigated, and seven suspects have since been arrested after they tried to flee the country. But the police believe that there's an eighth person who still needs to be found, which is the one who paid between 800,000 to 1 million rands for the assassination. And that eight person is believed to be among these four people who were actually close friends of aka and were also present during the time of the incident however there's also another mysterious person who's been flying under everybody's radar that some people suspect he might be that last person that the police are looking for allegedly but before we uncover this person it's important to go through the early events in aka's life that possibly might have led to his ultimate demise Kenan jerry forbes was born in cape town south africa in the 28th of january 1998 into a christian family he was the eldest of two boys with the younger one being Stephen Forbes. He moved to Johannesburg at a young age and attended a private boarding school at St. John's College. In 2002, aka alongside his two friends Vice Versa and Greyhound Sizwen Pofu Walsh formed a hip-hop group called Entity. Together they released songs like Touch and Go and First Go and the group received nominations at the Cora Awards. But unfortunately in 2006, they stopped working together on music and all the members went their separate ways with aka going on to study sound engineering. In 2009, he released three singles like In My Walk, I Do and My Mistakes Killed Me, which was followed by his debut studio album Alter Ego. The album was certified gold for its commercial success and also won an award for best hip hop album in the 2011 Metro FM Awards, aka then won an award for best male artist of the year at the 2012 South African Music Awards. In 2014, he released his second album titled Levels and was supported by four singles like Jealousy, Control, Congratulate and Run Josie featuring KO and Young Chief. The album was certified platinum within the same year and double platinum in 2018. After that, his career took off to new heights and his music started getting recognized on an international scale. In 2016, he released the song The World Is Yours from his third studio album. But before it was officially released, AKA first collaborated with Anati in composing the album called Be Careful What You Wish For and received a positive response from critics. The album had three singles like Ten Fingers, Don't Forget to Pray, and Holy Mountain. In 2018, he he released Touch My Blood, which was also certified platinum within the same year and double platinum the following year. In the album, there were songs like Fella in Versace featuring Key Dominant, which received higher commercial success than any other songs on the album. As if things couldn't get any better, in April of 2018, AKA was featured on two WWE live events in Cape Town and Johannesburg. Well, I know you're a musician and all of that, but I got some lines for you. Are you guys ready? Elias! You and I are not a match. I got people in the back who can kick your ass. Fast forward to 2022, he announced his plans to release a fourth studio album called Mass Country, which has the song Lemons featuring Nasty C as a lead single for the album. Lemons was certified four times platinum by the recording industry of South Africa, aka's relationship with his family was relatively good and shied away from the spotlight. But his public romantic relationships were really really bad, so bad that one of those relationships came with the cost of someone's life, with allegations and conspiracies being thrown around the internet. But to understand how that happened, we have to go back a little bit earlier. AKA and DJ Zintle began dating at the end of 2014. After receiving several South African hip hop awards, DJ Zintle hinted at their relationship by tweeting, Congratulations to my winner. Just like, How did you guys meet? We met at a show in Botswana. I was DJing. Yeah, I mean, I had a big show, a song at the time. And I think he had Victory Lab and a few yeah. other songs. So I you was, know him, obviously. I knew him because I had DM'd him. <laughs> <laughs> DM'd him. <laughs> And in 2015, the couple gave birth to their daughter, Cairo Owe to Forbes. But in the same year their daughter was born, AKA and Zintle ended their relationship after it was revealed that AKA allegedly cheated on her with the television presenter Bonang Mateba. AKA and Bonang denied those allegations but went on to reveal their relationship in 2016. Ish. Don't regret it. Fine Next. rocks tied up in plastic bags. No, but explain, what was it? Like, do you think? Don't regret it. That's the truth. Was that about, was that about Bonang though? 
Look, I can't legally talk about anybody's names. That's yeah. why the song is called. Let me, Beyonce. Re- let me rephrase <laughs> so, that. So, if you, you say, was that about Beyonce? Was it about Beyonce? Yes. <laughs> do you regret? Do you regret ever oh, dating man. Beyonce? Be no, no, no. When you started dating Beyonce, did she start cheating with you when you were still dating the other DJ that you can't mention? Yes. And then you spoke about when you're overseas. She uh-huh. was effing you overseas. Yes. Is that also true? Yes. Are you and Beyonce and st- still on speaking terms? No. Do you no. regret what you did to the DJ and have you said sorry to her? Yes. <laughs> Are you still in love with the DJ? Yes. That's insane. That's the I- mother of my child. Do what you, are you talking about? Do you think you and the DJ would ever get back together? I, I can't tell the future. I'm not a. I'm not a psychic. AK, before I let you go, do you rate? <laughs> <laughs> Bogani, do you can, rate Casper as an MC? Can one we, more question. Can, can more we question. wrap up our stuff? Just one more question. Are we cool? Yeah. No. We, no. Oh, we are cool. we good? Despite all of this, AKA and DJ Zintla got back together in late 2018, but in 2019 they broke up again. Two years later in February of 2021, AKA posted a picture on Instagram announcing his engagement to his girlfriend Anela Dembe, and from there their relationship turned out to be a total nightmare. Anela Dembe is the daughter of Moses Dembe, who according to many sources is a South African tycoon with a net worth of over $100 million. A tycoon is a wealthy and powerful person in a business or industry. Not much is known about AKA in Anela's relationship when they first started dating, as most of it was fairly kept private until they announced their relationship on social media. But behind the scenes, the relationship was so toxic that it led to allegations of abuse towards AKA. For example, there were infamous pictures of AKA circulating the internet, showing him breaking through a door to get into a room where Anela Dembe was, and also pictures of both of them with bruises on their faces. Furthermore, there were also videos of them showing distressing moments. Look at all of this. All of this. Look at all of this. Look at all of this. We got somebody here under the influence. Try to jump off the balcony. My eardrums are ringing. I think I burst my eardrum. I have a witness that witnessed that I did not fight back. And there is no fighting back from my side. This is how it looks. So when we go to court, this is what I want people to see. Despite all of this happening, Anela Dembe posted on her Instagram story saying, quote, LOL, Johan is saying it'll end in tears, learn a thing or two, because jokes on you love is for being effing trolls, with the little white text on the side saying, I'm happy, even though she said that on social media. Not long after that, their relationship would have the worst possible outcome. In April of 2021, Anela Dembe would pass away after falling from the 10th floor of the Pepper Club Hotel building in Cape Town, with one witness saying, I thought it was a car crash and we went to to look and at first we didn't see anything and then someone shouted there was someone lying on the street we went closer and saw a naked woman she was still breathing at the time so we sat down we spoke um and naturally we started disagreeing again arguments um and and things you know got more heated to the point of it was you know the early hours of the morning so at one point um when things really kind of started to take a turn for things I decided it would be best that I remove myself from the situation. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to, you know, gather my belongings. I'm going to leave the room, book myself into another room, and hopefully things will, will, you know, simmer down. And so I left the room, came back to the room because I had taken her phone. And obviously, uh, you know, we continued to argue. And then things took a turn for the worst when, you know, we had gotten to a point in the argument where Anele had of threatened to 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 kill herself or to you know jump off the balcony she didn't say in, in those words though. and i had called uh, reception for security i didn't want to be there or kind of feel that this was going to happen i, I kind of wanted to remove myself from it so i went to the bathroom and um you know when i <clears throat> when i came out of the bathroom uh, she she wasn't she wasn't in the room so so she wasn't she wasn't she wasn't in the room and um so then i look around the room and she's not there and um i go to the balcony and i look over the balcony and i look down to the the street and 
That's that's what she was. Anela's death raised suspicions among some people as there were prior allegations of physical abuse on her by AKA. These allegations led to some to speculate that AKA might have been involved in Anela's tragic accident, including her father, Moses Stembe, stating, I cannot let an unfortunate narrative go unchallenged that Anela, my daughter, was a chronically suicidal person or had suicidal tendencies. All I can say is that until she turned 21, Anela wouldn't consider taking her own life as a solution. Not a single member of my family, Anela's family, would would have ever associated Anele with suicide. Anele loved herself so much, she would rather live more than less. As Anele's father, I hereby state categorically, Anele was neither suicidal nor did she commit suicide. Side. Even though AKA was the most suspected person for Anela's death, he was never arrested nor prosecuted due to the lack of evidence. Fast forward to the 10th of February 2023, AKA was set to perform at the Hugo nightclub in Durban as part of his birthday celebration. On that night, as he was standing outside the restaurant with his friends, a gunman walked up to AKA and fatally shot him in the head, while a second gunman shot and killed his friend Debelo Motwane, after which both men fled the scene on foot. Now, there are two key suspects in the case of AKA's death, who many people on the internet, if not most, believe that one of them might have been responsible for ordering the assassination. But before I reveal them, it's important to make it clear that these two people are only just suspects, so nobody knows if they actually were involved in AKA's assassination or not. Therefore, the following information is just speculations made by people on social media. Suspect number one was Anela's father, Moses Dembe, with people on the internet saying, these photos were never gonna get ignored by Nelly's dad. Keenan thought it was over with and forgot how powerful his former father-in-law is in Durban. His daughter was never gonna get abused and he let it slide. When Moses Dembe became aware of these allegations, he quickly quickly refuted them by saying, It is with grave concern that my family and I had to enjoy a flurry of posts on various social media platforms that accused me and members of my family of being involved in the death of Keenan aka Forbes. These allegations are untrue and without substance. The second key suspect is a guy called Don Design and was actually there at the scene when aka got shot. After watching all the CCTV footages over and over, this one is not make sure. The way he was moving around and looking at the cameras before aka got shot is not make sure. Another person who chimed into the conversation was none other than Nota, who took to Instagram and said, Durban, we don't want your freaking AKA tribute, we want answers. Who ordered the head? Who are the shooters? Everyone but Dibs and the driver were part of the setup. Keenan's crew need to individually prove themselves innocent beyond reasonable doubt. Until we have a confession, my suspects are Sasso, DJ Phil, Don Design, and Scorpio Sia, which was also followed by a video where he said the following. So I've named my uh, suspects Sasso from Dream Team. Sasso must say something. Say so. Did you give them the say so? Say so? Did you give them the say so? I saw say so walking with Trey. Yeah, clean. And then say so is in the club. You watch the guy get sh in front of you and then you're in the club later. Why? We saw the foul play. We saw how Sasso led him out, looked across the street. Okay, even God. Oh, oh, don't design. You saw the Ngabi. Oh, yeah, he's on that side. Okay, and the other Ngabi, yeah, you're hiding him. Shield him, shield this Ngabi. So they got Don Design and this other uh, bouncer from the club shielding the Ngabi so that he can't be seen, so that Keenan feels comfortable. Cool, Keenan is still saying goodbye to his friend. Cool, the Ngabis think to themselves, yo, it's better to come here in the streets than in the car. In the car, that might be more difficult. It looks like they planned to have him right there in the back seat, and they, but he wasn't getting into the car. And the driver is also not getting into the car. Keenan's not going to be the first one in the car, he's the artist. Why is the artist standing on the furthest side? Why is he unshielded, unguarded, unprotected? You never allow an artist to be unguarded, unprotected. Come on. Come on. You, you never do that. That's amateur night. That's amateur night. See ya. You know that. You know that. Didn't perform your duty. You left Keenan for dead. You, you stood there. You, you left Keenan for dead and then you ran off. We saw you. Okay? I'm going to ask your brother KO because he's the famous one. You know? And he will have to answer. He has to answer. Maybe that's why Ntugza doesn't want to get back together. Everybody's saying, hey, I'm sure Casper your vest is happy. What, 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 Gandhi, the real guy is KO, whose brother is there to make sure that AKA gets home safe and no, he failed to do so. You failed to manage the road. And now the guy that's the reason why you get money is gone. So your job is gone. So why would you fire yourself? Make that make sense. Oh, you know, I'm reading the city press now as well. So they say in the city press, you know, they think there was a, a hit ordered out on AKA. It's obvious that there was a hit ordered out. You can see that everything was coordinated. Now we've got the video evidence. My question is this. It's very simple, guys. We know who, who, who was there. The team was in on the hit. Guys, tell us who ordered the hit. It's very simple. 
open shut case all we need to do is get those guys the, the suspects that i told you about within those suspects either one of them or all of them know who ordered the hit tell us who ordered the hit and one more thing dj feel sasso from dream team don design scorpio sia all of you have my numbers all of them have my numbers guys all of them have my numbers none of them have called me to tell me that no 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 you got it all wrong hey it's a misunderstanding and i know they've heard the message because i've been going on for the past four hours guys and i can see the shares are in the 50s of the stories but however some people on the internet felt a different way you guys are now reckless with your tweets can we let the law enforcement agencies do their job please some were accusing the Demba family and now you have shifted to Don. you're telling me Don didn't see the cameras when entering the restaurant earlier on i mean Don was really close with aka if he really wanted to get him killed there are plenty of places he would have opted for not the public eye fast forward to late february of 2024 seven suspects connected to the case have since been arrested after they tried to skip the country with potentially more people to get arrested being currently investigated and if all the suspects are found guilty by the judge then they would face charges of murder conspiracy to commit murder attempted murder and an unlawful possession of firearms and ammunition among others even though aka is no longer with us his legacy as a trailblazer in south african hip-hop is sure to endure for more generations to come with his unwavering dedication and talent he has solidified his place as one of the greatest rappers of his generation leaving an undeniable mark on the world of music.